You ever hear the stories about Metro 2 and the Invisible Watchers? No. You've heard of Ragnarok, the last battle of the gods? Well, Metro 2 is the place where the gods of the Soviet pantheon will take shelter, if the forces of evil prevail. The legends say Metro 2 lies hidden beneath this one. Ours is the Metro for the sheep, and the Metro 2 is for the shepherds and their dogs. Once upon a time, the shepherds ruled the herd from there. But later, their strength weakened, and their sheep were dispersed in many directions. A single gate joined these two worlds at a place which now splits the map with a red scar. But something happened, and the gate to Metro 2 was shut down forever. Those living here forgot about Metro 2, and it became a thing of myth. But though we are no longer aware of Metro 2, it does exist. It is all around us, its tunnels entwined with our own, its stations behind the walls of our stations. The two metros are inseparable. And those who believe that the shepherds could not abandon their herd say that they watch over us still, directing our every step, but do not show themselves to us. And that is what faith in the invisible watchers is. But why they do not wish people to know about them? First of all, sheep are sinful for they turned down their shepherds in a time of weakness. And ever since Metro 2 was separated from our world, the shepherds have evolved in a different way. They are no longer human, but creatures of a higher order, whose logic is not understandable for us. They have the power to change everything, even to return the lost beautiful world to us. But because we rebelled against them, they do not take part in our destiny anymore. However, they exist everywhere and are all-knowing and all-seeing. Only after we repent our sins will they reveal themselves and offer their help. And salvation will come. That's what is said by the people who believe in the Invisible Watchers. Interesting legend.